I think we are live. I think we are live. Let me check. Let's check. Hold on, people. Hold your horses. Check. Yes, we are. Very good. And boom! We are rolling, folks. Another edition, Beyond Average, Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. Joined alongside Cousin Christian. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Yeah. Fresh uh, fresh off a of nice weekend in Portland. Yeah. Fun weekend. It's the first time you've ever been there? Yeah. Not, way nicer than I thought. What about you? Uh, I've been there before, but oh, okay. it, it is nice. Yeah. I mean, there is some homeless, but. I guess I just wasn't. I mean, yeah, the homeless were there, but. No. I guess I wasn't expecting such a city vibe. Not city, but like it was like a cross of like Plymouth and Nashville. I was telling somebody. That Nashville. Yeah. Like, you know how like. Uh, I've never been to Nashville. Well, so I, I shouldn't guess, judge, but. I, I guess I, like the size of Nashville. Okay. But like, you know how Plymouth is like, you know, like kind of like brick and Plymouth or Portland, Portland and Plymouth. OK, OK. That's where I'm getting the vibes. From I got you. You're comparing the two. Yeah. You're putting them together with the size of like Nashville <clears throat> and like, you know, I think you'd be the first person to ever make that comparison. Plymouth and Nashville. We're pioneer. Mate. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the weekend. Let's just get right into it. We're going to recap the weekend. We'll give our report card on the live show. We'll talk about the McBait filming, everything. But yeah. let's just start out with uh, Friday night. Mike and the Minna fans, we drive up to Portland. Yeah. What did you make of it? Um, not a bad drive. Cut a little traffic. Yeah. Thank you uh, for driving, by the way. That was yeah, no, massive. It was a good time. No, it was massive. It yeah. really was. Like not having to drive on the road trips is makes it exponentially better. <laughs> it really does. No, it really does. <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you. Um, no, it was a good time. Um, we flew right up there. A little traffic, what, through Boston. But other than that, we pretty much got there. Yeah. I, I only, my only gripe. Was I wish they had started it later. I mean, oh, you're gonna be like cinema lords? You're gonna no, start yelling? No, 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 uh -oh, not, uh -oh. Not, no, 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 no. Nope. I'm just saying. No, I hear you. Like, you know, I plan for people to get out like five, and then like, you know, most people live at least what, at least an hour and a half away, and then I, mean, I guess <clears> well, that's, that's probably not true. I bet a lot of people two hours live. plus. I guess a lot of people we do live in Maine. Yeah, we live like yeah. two hours plus away. So I bet most of the Maine people are probably within an hour. I don't know. It was just tough for us to make. That's why. Yeah, yeah no, it, it is. I, I got out of work and I was trying to get out as fast as I could, but I couldn't. I um, I I hadn't finished listening to the show that day. Yeah. And then we listened to it on the way up, and they said the show starts at six thirty. Mike and the Minifan. They were like, like "Oh fuck. shit!" We were planning to get there, check into the hotel. I thought it started at eight, like it normally does on Friday nights. Yeah. But it makes sense. They were doing, you know, it's like a live pre-show, and Mike only went for, I think, about a half hour. Or so they they said, and um, we we, we pretty much missed the whole thing. Yeah, we walked. So in I can't at really the end comment on much of the actual show. We I mean, I had it up my phone while we were again checking into the hotel and whatnot, but. I missed uh, the actual Mike and the Minifan show, but the vibe in the room was really good. Yeah. How'd you feel about people coming up and getting pictures? Oh, I mean, it was so funny. That, that, that's just, it's like, it's funny because it's, it's so stupid. You know what I mean? The best like, part is they take a picture and they're like, all right, fuck very you. Very nice, by the way. Yeah. You know, that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> you suck, Mick. It's not like, hey, I'm with famous beyond average Mick. It's like, yeah. oh, I'm with this idiot. Yeah. Like, it, it's yeah. funny. Yeah. It, it is. It was really nice. Um, <laughs> people were, I, I wish I had a story about someone being an asshole at, at any point during this whole weekend, but. No, no, even all. I mean, every, great. pretty much everybody that interacted either called you retarded or whatever, but yes, but in guys, a nice way. Yep. Right. They mentioned how my girlfriend's going to get railed in Cancun. I heard that a couple <laughs> times in the bathroom. That was nice. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. We're having fun with it. They them. were friendly chirps. Yes. They're friendly yeah, chirps. Sure. Yeah, 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 sure. They were great. Um, no, uh, but Friday night, it was funny to see Kirk like bouncing around going like group to group, you know, different sections of Minifan saying hello. And yeah. I mean, I don't know what I expected because he always talks about how he like hates those things and he hates being like social. And he's good in those. I mean, it's my guy. Was, I, could, so. I couldn't imagine that. Uh, I, I couldn't imagine someone who was nicer, like as far as that, like stature. Like I, just I interacting with their fans, just flowing through. Yeah, sure. like he, he was literally like he walked right up to us and like everybody you know, was very genuine about the conversation. Yeah. It wasn't like a, oh hey, how, thanks for coming, guys. It was like what's happening, how you doing? Yeah. You know? So yeah, um, I, I think he gives himself a bad rap there. I don't think he gives himself a bad rap. I think he just like kind of gets one because people automatically assume like he brings the pressure on the show. Usually, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people are like nervous to go on and like, I think they feel like it'll be like that in real life. But it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I also think like he talks about how he hates most yeah, human, yeah, yeah, human yeah, yeah. interactions. So for sure. Part for of sure. it as well. Right. Um, yeah. Friday night. We didn't really go out. We didn't really um, hit it too hard though. We only, I, I only, I think I had one drink at the bar. I had one drink and yeah, kept, I think that kept, was it. I kept having it in my head. Mick kept telling me I have alcoholic tendencies. Did I say that? I think last pod. Oh, you do? Yeah. No, no, we, di we didn't say it. No, that's not true. That's true. That's not, that's not what we said. We said that you might I'm have, here, like, folks. you might have alcoholic tendencies, but like, you're not going to get in trouble. I think is what we said that, that there's <laughs> yeah. a little, 
No, I was just, I'm just kidding. But I only had one tequila. That's Man, good. Yeah, I think I had a vodka soda. That was yeah. really it. Like, especially if I drink tequila, usually it's never ends at one. Yeah, no, I was, uh, I, we got, there was a ton of people, I think at our hotel bar and then that stayed out also at like Gritty's and that whole strip. Yeah. I'm sure it was a good time, but I just, I don't know. I couldn't, I was so tired from our drive. I also kind of felt like shit all weekend. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I was kind of gutting it out. Not, you know, just a little pat on the back for myself, there. <laughs> but, um, Champing it up. yeah, no, it, it was a really, Friday night was fun. Really kind of low key for us. So we didn't really do too, too much, but, yeah. um, Saturday, the actual show, the day of the show. Our buddies came up. We had the hotel room for Saturday night as well. Our buddies came up, met up with us uh, right around lunchtime, probably. Yeah. And who do we bump into right when we're walking in the street to go get lunch? Who? who, who, just who? The bus. The Gus bus. <laughs> the Gustavo himself. Like, uh, I, and it's like we were best friends. It was like, oh, what's up, Gus? Hey, what's going on, guys? You want? Hey, we're going to go grab some uh, food and a beer. You want to come? Yeah, sure. And just pops in with us for like you know, 45 minutes. Yeah. Was showing us around Portland. Like he, he was like our tour guide. It was unbelievable. <laughs> he, he, did. he brought us to a good spot. He's great. My burger was oh, you didn't, Did you get anything? No, I just had a beer. Burger was great. It was a uh, infused bacon burger. Like the bacon's chopped up in the beef actually. Ooh. And then they put the bacon on top of it. I mean, heart attack in the Ooh, making, but that's really good though. Primo. That, that's, yeah. that's how you know it's a good spot. So shout out Gus. Couldn't tell you. I remember. No, it's down. We have the little thing. It's, oh, I do downstairs. You're right. I have a little souvenir. They had butcher a wooden bar? spatula. Butcher bar? Butcher burger. Butcher burger. Butcher burger. Nailed Shout it. out the butcher burger. Good spot. Um, but yeah, no, I thought that was funny. Like, I didn't know how that was going to go because we saw him the night before, or at least I saw him. I don't know if he saw me. And it was very just like, uh, like I don't, I don't think we even said He's hello nice to each other. fucking guy. But know? Gus is impossible to hate. He really yeah. is. He's impossible oh, yeah. to hate. He's impossible to stay mad at. Like, even if I'm the biggest psycho in the world, I won't hate him in like three weeks. Like, He's so nice. He's a great he's very guy, nice. yeah, but he also knows what he's doing. He can push your buttons very easily. He's very good at that. Um, he was telling us all about gaming with Gus and his old plans and everything. It, it was it was good to have Gus around. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I felt I'm, after when we were driving home. I think you asked me like, does that squash the whole? Yeah. I, at least for me, it's always squashed. I was squashed the minute we left the KMS studio that day. But that being said, like I understand there's gonna be some animosity. I was calling for the guy's job and whatnot. I think it's over. For me, it is. I feel like, yeah, but, I mean, like you had I, lunch I, together. You broke I, bread. Yeah, I'm sure you he's gonna always think I'm mech. somewhat of an asshole, right? Maybe. Yeah, I would. I mean, I I, I certainly would. <laughs> You'd hate you, is what you're saying? Oh my god, wouldn't even be a good, Do you think I would handle this as well as Gus? Are you crazy? Uh, what about Saturday? What else? Um, we, we walked around Portland for a little bit. Homeless people rating, I would call them docile, hmm. but uh, plenty of them, right? Uh, yeah 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 for sure i mean like i think somebody was talking on the show that they were like they're not very confrontational coleman was saying compared yeah. to the new york homeless yeah. he was saying that they're less aggressive i would agree that they're less aggressive than most city homeless yeah i would agree right? yeah, i would agree with that yeah that's fair <laughs> i thought coleman made a good point fair there. comparison yeah. um you pointed out quickly that blind mike was slowly getting assaulted outside oh, of the bar dude. by one of these homeless people yeah when we were leaving the bar on friday night i'm walking out and i look behind me and Blind Mike's waiting for, I think, Justin, because I think we were helping load his car or something. Yeah, Ju yeah Justin asked us to like, bring yeah. the cameras to his car. And when we came back, Blind Mike has a homeless guy that is cackling and coughing yeah, a lung awesome. out like while like tapping him on the back and like touching him. And I was like, this has to be his nightmare. This has to be his nightmare. Yeah, that wasn't good. That was not good. <laughs> Nobody helping him. <laughs> so I, was like, I, it was like, what's going on here? Well, there was like a group of people behind him, and yeah. you could tell that they wanted nothing to do with that conversation <laughs> as well. I think, I think I said, uh, you had said, is that a or is that a homeless guy like on Blind Mike's back or something? And Justin like immediately stopped what he was doing, beeline it <laughs> over there. Like, just, dude, that's who you want uh, as your security guard, oh, for Justin sure. Trudell, because for he sure. was ready to go in that moment. Speaking of, my guy looked trim. Justin looked good. My guy was looking trim. I Justin think. looked good on, up there. I thought Coleman looked good too. I thought they both did. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't, don't say that. See, he hates <laughs> Coleman. He, he does. We'll I, get, we, we have a bet going. Mm. I have to. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, but, but there's I, more, it, it's deeper than that. No, 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 it's no. It's deeper no, than no, that, no, Coleman. No, 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 no. No, no. I thought yeah. Coleman did a great job. Great yeah, job. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but, but before the show, we went down to, or I was down at the Weston Bar for a while. There's a ton of minute fans down there. We didn't do the VIP thing. So I think the meet and greet thing, I wasn't involved with that. And I think Kirk and Blind Mike did a couple of questions beforehand that I heard him say that on the uh, most, recent, uh, most recent show. Excuse me. I had to catch a nap. Oh yeah, you needed a nap. I was snoozing. You needed a nap. Yeah, that was that was actually because you one. probably wouldn't have been as awake and into the show because you would have been no exactly. Pretty I need, little, I need it. It was a late night. It, yeah. yeah, it was, was going to be a late night, uh, and it was late eight night the night before. Late. Yeah, eight o'clock is late for me. It is. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, That's no, late. it is. Um, but I saw. Uh, let me see. We saw Mutt. Jeff D. Lowe was down there. Casey Smith. 
Steve from Gloucester was down there. I mean, it was a crowd. It was a big crowd of people. Yeah. I mean, there was like a line of people meeting Jeff D. Lowe and Casey Smith. So at one point, like it was just, I, I actually felt bad because I wanted to go over and say hi to Jeff, but like yeah. literally whenever I went over, there was four or five people around him talking to him. So it was just like, you know, I'll, I'll let him be there. But uh, Mutt, Mutt came over and said hello. He was nice. He, he, he said that he agreed with me about uh, my girlfriend's parents not thanking me. He said that was a rude move. Oh. And they should, right? Don't you agree with that? I mean, you know, I guess so. You know? I mean, Mutt, Mutt knows. <laughs> Mutt knows. He knows how it is. Um, uh, sure. But yeah, no, I uh, I had a little buzz going when walking in there. Yeah? Yeah, I had because I had, I don't know, three or four drinks beforehand. I didn't drink that night at all. Yeah, no, I had three or four drinks beforehand and then um at the show i had uh i think two beers so i was, I was feeling it yeah but it was a great time i mean it was great great atmosphere in there um all the fans before the show seemed really fired up like yeah I, everybody was hype that was when i had the most interaction i think with people like just in the theater from before because it's the most diehard minute fans they're gonna yeah. you know recognize you from the show and whatnot <laughs> and a lot of comments a lot of just you know lot, everybody was great it really was everybody was great even the people who were yelling drunk comments in the bathroom is it's all in good fun what was the best comment you didn't, what was your best chirp, I should say? There wasn't there wasn't too many chirps. Um, I had a nice experience. I'm forgetting the gentleman's name. But me and him had a nice bathroom line experience that we bonded together. Did you, you guys know, show took, each other your cocks? No, we just we were in line next to each other talking, and then we pissed next to each other. <laughs> it was a good experience. It was just, all right, man, have a good night. Enjoy the show. Oh, yeah. What's the best chirp? I don't know, but me and this guy, we had to pee together. Yeah, Let me I, tell you. Nobody really said anything <laughs> too crazy. Like I said, someone someone joked that uh, about my girlfriend getting railed in Cancun. That's nice though. Yeah, I thought it was. I, honestly, I laughed at the time. I didn't even. I wasn't even like offended. Right? That's chirp. Whatever. Your girlfriend's getting banged. Yeah, it's like, hey, uh, hey Thanks, enjoy man. the show, buddy. <laughs> enjoy the show. <laughs> right. Um. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the actual live show itself. Let's yeah. get into it. Let's let's give a report card, if you will. Overall show grade, what are you giving? I've been to, I believe, four or five live shows, and I would grade this out of the ones that I've seen the best. Yeah, definitely. Is the best a grade? All right. What's your, all right, one to ten, or do you want a letter? B? Letter, okay. report card. Right. Hello. Report card. We've been this, like we've done this before. I'm going, I'm. I was going to say I'm just saying it, but it was an A-plus, man. It was an A-plus a plus? show. Yeah, it was an A-plus show. Wow, let's go. Yeah. That's yeah. huge. It was an A-plus show. Give me some reasons why. What stood out? Um, what was the biggest hit? What? what, what so A-plus would mean there was nothing that didn't hit. All right, well, given this, not that it's a couple things didn't hit. You got to be honest. All right, here. so, all right. You love well, the it's show. Hard, I mean, it's harder. To, it's easier if we were to grade each person than it is overall. We're going to do that as well. We're going to do that. Right, well, we're going to get into the individual performances right, as well. Overall, then we'll give it an A. Okay. Yeah, we'll give, I'll give it an A then. Okay, so give me some highlights and lowlights. Just off the top, um, some of the, maybe some of the bits, some of the videos. What you like? What what you really liked? Highlight for me was uh, his black brother calling, and then Mutt and him coming out. <laughs> yeah, was for sure. Yeah, the the Mutt yeah. the hip hop segment. Yeah, that was my whole, favorite. Mutt crushed that, and so did Kirk. But yeah. Mutt coming coming out and just like <laughs> I mean, it was unbelievable. Yeah, it was so it good. was like a movie. Too. It was so funny. Dude. It reminded it me so... of um, Step Brothers when the brother Derek does the performance. <laughs> yeah, he does yeah, the Vanilla yeah. Ice. That's literally yeah. what it reminded me of. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was probably yeah. my favorite. Yeah, that was the hardest. I think I laughed throughout the whole show. Um, that and actually <laughs> Justin's. Um, you know, baby, oh, thing, Jesus whatever we're calling that. Christ, I mean, what the dude. fuck do we call that? Yeah, that was, Describe that. I right, dare you. Yeah. Pa all right. Uh, part of that was painful. Like I'm sitting there laughing. And no, then, it was amazing. And they'd catch you. Oh, I mean, yeah, of course it is. But like they'd catch you with the, the kiss you everywhere. And it would be the worst image during that part of the lyric. Every time it'd be like an aborted baby or like, or like a nine year old in like pajamas. Yeah, and like stretching. A yeah, was, I was like, what are we fucking <laughs> fuck are we looking here? at right now? Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty funny. Yeah, no, that the, those those two specifically were. I think from for Justin's least, family was in the crowd, right? Did he? Did he? Have his people? parents definitely were. I don't yeah. know if I don't know if Bubba was, but yeah. So that, I mean, were. pretty funny. Yeah, I, I they must be like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Like, you have to really, really fake baby. I you mean, have to really like try to <laughs> lean into that one if you're his parents to find some humor. I, don't I mean, they must have though because of course, Bubba like, Trudell was on the screen. Well, ju that's another thing. I'm a little unhappy with you, Justin. Why? I'm a, I, Kirk pointed this out too. He tricked him. And nothing to do with the great, great get. What do you mean, tricked him? But he tricked Bubba Trudell. How? He, uh, How? You know, they just uh, unbelievable. What did I miss? How? He 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 said it was for like Kirk was like acting as a cop and trying to like catch someone or something. <laughs> I don't even know. He uh, yeah, he could. I don't think he had the heart to tell him the truth. I mean, I understand. I get it. I get it. I get it. Are you gonna lie to Bubba Trudell? How are you? How are you gonna tell him that? You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I hear you. Honestly, shout out to him for lying to Bubba Trudell. He protected him and got it I guess done. That's true. You're Again, gonna defend Justin. Yeah, you'll defend Justin until you die. My guy. You. Oh, my guy. God. Um, let's go through the individual performers. We'll start with the guys on the show, All right. the producers. 
What are you giving uh, Mr. Jack Coleman? First live sh- or first theater show because he did the Subway show. So, I, but this is his first real live show, right? I would say so. I'm gonna yeah. get. I'm gonna give him a. Uh, I'm gonna give him a B minus. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I think he. From what I could tell, it looked like he technically killed it. And now this is this critique may not be warranted because I don't know anything about producing or anything when it comes to technical stuff. Mm-hmm. But it bothered me. I didn't get why why they kept having to do like the screen pull thing. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know. It just there were. And I know that's a dumb critique, probably. But You're saying like with each video that's yeah. It was like yeah. There's a couple and there's a couple times he couldn't get it to do it, and they like kept reverting back to wherever he was hiding it. I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I couldn't figure it out. But yeah, no, there was. It, it probably could have ran smoother on that end. But yeah. the videos themselves, the audio seemed to be pretty good for yep. most of it. My only, um, what God? I was gonna say my other critique with the. Technical. My only other technical critique was the. But you're a technical wizard, so please. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the audio on some of the things I didn't get why. Like some of it sounded so good on the videos that they were doing, and then some of it sounded like they were shooting on an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, or no. like uh, in a loud windstorm. I was like, what the hell? They were using one of those mics right there for some of it. That yeah. little Rode microphone for uh, the cameras. Yeah. And then they were also taking like audio of Kirk talking, which is going to be crisp. You know, it's going to be very crisp and clear. Yeah. So I mean, that's probably what it is, and a lot of it has to do with the sound system at the theater that's something yeah. that people don't realize like it the sound system there probably especially in some of the sections like i guarantee the speakers aren't like the best yeah. and like the you know some of it might be blown i have no idea but like i remember our speaker specifically had a little like fuzz to it don't blame it coleman for no, no it wasn't their fault it was, so, it, was no, just the, him, so. it was the speaker from the blaming him so yeah <laughs> don't don't blame no no you're not no you're not no 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 we're not blaming coleman for that right? we can blame then, him for everything else all right so then and then my other critique of him mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. This is, this is, this is it. This is, is anyone it. getting this? this? Anyone Zen's, fucking writing Zen's, this down? Zen's here. Zen's after oh. this. Oh. Uh, it, this is kind of a double critique to both of them. Um, but the dead double air critique. time that they, they were like the bantering, they just had yeah. no banter. They would buy. Nothing. And the only reason I hate to be a double critique here on this, but hey, we're going on Coleman here, right? Stay right. on Coleman. Well, Stay I'm saying, Coleman. I'm, I guess I'm doubling down on that is what I'm saying is when in Delaware, mm-hmm. the same thing kind of happened they kind of like left Kirk to like, just kind of do all of the rifting and Mike where yeah. like they didn't step into like, you know, rift. That's part of their job. I would agree. I would, that's definitely part Kirk of their called job. Kirk called him out on it too. I think he said that he did. Yeah. And he said it during the show a couple of times. He was like, I can't even change my shirt for 30 seconds yeah. without dead air. Like what yeah, exactly. the fuck guys. And that's part of Kirk like shitting on them and our audience is going to laugh. So that is part of it. But I think the guys also, I mean, they definitely were a little nervous. They, they yeah. both were. So I, I have mean, to give them that. Like Justin said during the live show, he's like, I mean, you did have a, speak about it all week like what would happen if something went wrong yeah there's some funny. pressure that there's was a great pressure. line from justin when yeah. he was like have you listened to the kirkman <laughs> yeah, show recently or whatever last whatever? week yeah yeah um coleman i'll give him a c plus i'll give coleman a c plus okay hold on, hold on hold on okay you're crushing my grade i didn't crush your grade you're, you're crushing... i crushed your attitude towards coleman not the grade okay well you somehow you're coming with a lower grade than me after the critique you were giving me I'm about be- i'm being completely honest okay let's hear let's hear let's hear it. i thought it was a tough spot for him obviously yeah. with the the booing and He's not really the the personality type, and everybody he's boring. The boo you know, is we, good. We love Coleman, but he's those boring. Are, those are some good boos. But, I'm a but, fan of the boos. Yes, we know that. Yeah. You were booing. I was cheering. For the record, <laughs> folks, I even got people in line beforehand. I was like, "Come on, we got to cheer Coleman a little bit." People were like, "Are you in your fucking mind?" I swear to God, <laughs> that, that happened a couple different times. Was was, like, guys, we're gonna give Coleman a little bit of love, right? We're gonna help him out, and they were like, "Are you fucking high, Mick?" What was, was what was great. louder, the loudest boo for Coleman or the loudest cheer for whoever the loudest cheer was? It was still the loudest cheer, probably right. The boo was loud, but close, but it's close, right? The initial real boo from yeah. Kirk when he was like, guys, stop that. Stop, <laughs> guys, please stop. And it was just, it kept going. <laughs> no, stop, got it pretty good. stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I'll give Coleman a C plus. It, it was a tough spot, first of all. He, he knew he was going to get booed. I thought he rolled with the punches really well. I thought, I thought, yeah. you know, he at no point did he really get rattled. I mean, Kirk was shitting all over his brother too at one point. His like, brother almost shut it down. You will get into the him. We'll get, in, we'll get into the magician. We'll get into him, the alleged magician. Um, alleged. Oh boy. But I, I think kind of what you're saying. My biggest, I guess, knock on him would be they left Kirk out, hung out to dry. I think a couple of different times. Yeah. And for Mike, I think a lot of that was Mike not being able to hear Kirk's mic microphone blind mike not being able to hear kirk's microphone 
And that just can't happen again. Yeah. I know they said it's because it was the audio speaker system. Or How does this keep happening to poor blind Mike? <laughs> How, seriously, like we were putting him up there with no, uh, you know, limited vision. And now he can't hear, you know, what the hell is happening? Yeah. It happens. I, that'd be the one thing we, we just, I would be like, no, we got to figure out a different way. Like, you have to, then we'll do a corded mic or something. Setting up my guy for failure. Yes. Because Mike's the guy who's going to be great with the banter. Yeah. Why was sub? Why was the Subway Show so great? Because Mike was great with that. You know, the, the banter at the live show, and he could kind of go back and forth and make fun of the producers. He could barely hear. It. You know, <laughs> I I felt bad for him. I really did. That's tough. so that that's you know for me that's that that has to be better. That <laughs> has to be fixed there. But uh, Justin, so I said Coleman C plus. Technically, I thought he was good. Yeah. I thought you didn't like the slide thing, and you know that's kind of a pain in the ass. I'm sure there was reason for that. Yeah. But overall, I mean, the videos landed. I thought, um, you know, his portion of the videos, his like endorsement, uh, advertised campaign videos, I thought were great. Um, everything, I, I thought he, I thought he was good. So that C plus was. overall. Yeah, C plus, C, C plus. Because like I said, I think the biggest critique would be leaving Kirk Howard to dry a little bit, and that's mm -hmm. Justin as well. I'm going to get into him, and then also just if you're the technical guy, if you're the the number one producer for that, you got to make sure we got Mike's situation figured out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I, I know Mike had never he, he probably would never start like bitching about this openly but like he's probably like guys really we, yeah. we can't fucking do this again like anything he can't help me out here <laughs> like I don't know, right, right not only that but during the banter where at least there's probably at least blind Mike's time to shine you know what I mean is easiest they don't have it ready for him that's what I'm saying and they're not ready to take over the banter when they don't have him ready for that <laughs> right right it was a double whammy yeah exactly and Mike said it on the show today. He was like, w did you not understand? Or yesterday, whatever day it was when they recorded. He was like, we were actively trying to get you guys to talk. Like during the show, we would make fun of the fact that you weren't talking in hopes that you would start talking. <laughs> and Justin, again, he even said it, he was nervous and he was, you know, he just was just like, what, what, what videos next? What do you need next, Kirk? Right. Which I get again, like they don't really have a showrunner. So the producers are kind of running the show and producing the show. Yeah. There's a difference there, especially in a live event. Yeah. So I give those guys a ton of credit. I'm not, I'm, I'm, you yeah, know, kinda, like I'm it. grading hard, you but hear it, that? it's hard. Yeah. Uh, you know, sounds like it. <clears throat> He's got drunk Julie as his showrunner. I mean, <laughs> what are we talking about? And she's fucking hammered. So, uh, what, who, who are you on right now? Are you great? Justin. We'll go to Justin. Okay. Yeah. What are you giving him? I'm, I mean, A minus, right? You're giving him an A minus, right? Wow. No. <laughs> you got to tell me why. I mean, first of all, we know that he is very important in the security of it all. I would agree with that. His presence right? is needed. How, how secure was A plus? No. They, the security, just on a quick side note, they bounced that guy out of there so yeah, fucking fast. That's what I'm saying. And me and you were in the top row of the section that he got bounced out of in the seats closest to the aisle. We yeah. literally were right, or not the seat, it was, you know, whatever, we were two seats in. So we got to see the entire interaction of the guy getting actually removed. And he said at the top of the stairs, he's like, are you fucking serious? You guys are actually removed? He thought it was a bit. <laughs> yeah, he thought it was a I bit. think he thought it was a joke. Yeah. I think he was like, all right, they're going to let me just chill out. And tell How far me do you think he drove to get kicked oh. out? Oh, and really five minutes into the show no gotta be at least i hope a couple hours i hope he paid for a hotel that's tough how mad do you think the wife was there's a wife with him there was, was there? A, yeah there's a significant other yeah. she followed up yep i didn't see her. i'm pretty sure am i i could be wrong i could have sworn that might have been the other guy there was two oh, guys there was there was there was there was, there was yeah i i don't know i mean that's you to get kicked out of a show like that you really just gotta be an asshole yeah so i it, did i say a minus right that's what i said yeah yeah a minus so first of all he crushed the security so like he's already he's starting good, and then he goes back down a little for the banter, and then he goes back up for his uh, video with the baby, and that's uh, that's yeah. how that's how I graded Justin. Okay, yeah. okay, you're not, you're not giving him a knock at all for. He had for, one of the biggest cheers, like easily, like when when Kirk said this is one of the most loyal guy. He's the most loyal guy of the show we've ever had. Mm -hmm. I mean, the pop was the pop was sensational. Sounds like you're scapegoating Coleman for a lot of these technical issues. Well, you you just said five minutes, no less than five minutes ago. He's the A side that's supposed to be the technical guy. Well, if he's, I don't know if he's the A side, but he's technically, or at least he was hired as producer one. Technically, he's supposed to be the technical guy. Okay? Yeah, yeah, you like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think Justin, my biggest gripe with him would just be again. I think he's got a little more personality than Coleman. I think we all would agree with that. I think his back and forth with Kirk is a little bit better, and he knows the show a little more. Him and Kirk gotcha. got better chemistry, all of it. Just all of it. So yeah. I would expect Justin to be a little bit better in that spot. I said and, that brought my grade down. Hold on. And and he's also really well liked by the crowd, like you're saying. So he's in kind of like a can't lose there. Like, yeah, but Coleman, it's... Coleman's going to be the guy who's going to get all the brunt, all, all the shit there. Like Justin's, they're going to cheer him no matter what. Yeah. Unless he really fucks up. But like for the most, but everybody loves Justin. How can you not? He's he crushed great. It. I love Justin. He crushed it. Yeah. I just, um, you know, maybe, maybe it was nerves. Maybe it was just nerves, but I would like a little more just, uh, 
maybe maybe they were just trying to stay out of the way too. And maybe that's design. Maybe that's by design from Kirk saying, hey, just let me do my thing. Yeah. Let me do my thing. You guys don't get in the fucking Kirk way. Show. It, of, Kirk course, of show. course, but he also during the show, I think showed some frustration, whether it was tongue in cheek or actual real frustration of being like, guys, what the fuck? Yeah. Like I, can't, I literally can't change my shirt without you, <laughs> you know, without dead air. Like, <laughs> what, what are you doing here? We're a show. Yeah. So, um, I, I'm being hard on Justin, but I love him. What was the grade? C. Are you shitting me? C. I see. C. That's wrong. I, and I'm, wrong. again, I'm judging by what I think he should have been, you know, what he, what his strength should have been at the show, which is like contributing little one liners and whatever. Harsh you know, critic kind of, today. Harsh critic. I, I, I'm, I'm down on his on air performance during the live show. Is that harsh or am I just it, being honest? I mean, I mean, I, I brought my grade down. I love I the show. Up with the, I, 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 you know, my overall show grade was an A. I loved it. All right. I loved everything about it. All right. All right. You know? All right. I can't. I can't critique the producers. Everybody's gonna be like, oh, oh, he wants the job. Here we go. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, fuck you. I, I thought they did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they were great. Um, blind Mike. Blind Mike. I mean, he got left out to dry. Oh, yeah, um, talk about getting hung out to dry. So it, I, it's tough for me to grade him. He he had a, I would say, best you can do with what he was given. Like. He, for me, he had the, I don't want to call it the worst segment, but probably my, I don't know, least favorite even sounds more bad. Like there was no bad to part. Say, you could say it's the least favorite segment. All right. It was the least favorite segment yeah. uh, was probably the grading, the Steve points, just because. The Steve units. Yeah. It seemed like he, Mike didn't know that Kirk had left. So he was looking for somebody to kind of rift with. And then neither of the guys helped him rift. So like there was a lot of awkward silence and moments until blind Mike realized that Kirk wasn't even up there anymore. And yeah. Like, he, he said a line during the show. He's like, Kirk's not here, is he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah. So like it's tough for me to give him a bad grade on that where I feel Feel like actually if anything that actually should be a lower grade on the producers like you said yeah he d definitely he i mean he got hung out to dry there again at the live show it's it's he won't say it he won't show the big frustration but i would be rip shit if i was him. Yeah. i'd be like what the fuck guys is it gonna happen again like come on not but, only that but i thought for a second uh when they were doing the steve units mm -hmm. when they were like so kirk <laughs> kirk came back on the mic after a second and he was like so who's leading and uh, Mike was like, ah, yeah. And they're like, who's? I mean, I did hope you somebody's think that nobody. I oh, thought no. I and I was like, oh man, are they about to get to the end of it and be like, so wait, did anybody remember? Who Coleman's like, I don't know. What What do you mean? Yeah. Me? Was I supposed to be doing that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad they had the number. Yeah, the Steve units. They didn't. It wasn't the best segment. I would say it probably out of all like the. I guess if you broke it down segment by segment, it. It might you were have just been. killing me for doing this. You no, were just killing me I'm for thinking, doing this. I'm two thinking seconds off ago. the top of my head. I'm trying to think. Like it, it probably was my least favorite of them. Oh, okay, so here we go. But see. See, I, I don't remember. Do you remember if the producers who went up there had a microphone? Do you remember if like Dave, Gus, and Steve have mics? I don't remember. Okay, because if they did, then they literally did nothing. Because I can't remember <laughs> one thing they said during that segment. I don't because it, it felt like it was Mike telling these guys what they are, yeah. and us and the producers sitting there with the thumb up their ass. <laughs> you know, like that. That's another thing. Like you're not gonna give the producers any shit for that. Kirk's changing his suit or whatever, and they got a five minute segment. Mike's like talking to himself, trying to be like, hey guys, <laughs> like anybody, is anybody listening? Yeah, I know. That was tough. That was uh, tough. I felt bad for Mike. I really did. So I uh, I guess to back to my original grade, I'll say Yeah, what'd you give him? I'll say Mike, Mike gets an A. A for effort. Okay. A, a for, for effort. effort. No, for no, no. Effort. You got to get performance. His actual performance. He did. He did everything. Like, what is? What like, was his performance? What's the grade of his performance? I'm don't, giving him don't, an A. Don't specify it. Don't you know, I'm giving him an A. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll give him I'll give yeah. him a B. I'll give him a B. Okay. I'll give him a B. And yeah. that maybe that's because he didn't have the chance to do a lot of his like quick one liners. That's but what I'm saying. Listen, I, I'm give I'm being you're giving him an A. Yeah. You're just you're just giving everybody an A. Who else gets an A? Who else? <laughs> who, 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 Julie? Are you Col giving her? Col Coleman had a B. Julie Coleman had a B minus. Julie Coleman had a, a plus. <laughs> cool. Coleman had a B minus. Um, all right. We'll go we'll go Kirk then. We'll go next. I mean, let's call it what it is. Performance of a lifetime, is it not? I mean, it's, was it not? It I mean, let, let's call it what it was. The guy brought the fucking house down. Let's he did. I mean, there were so many moments where I was just laughing and feeling like this is surreal. Like, like he's living out like a childhood dream. Yeah, right? it's it like fantasy. He's, he's, it's like a, it's and dude, you should right. see it. You should see it the is, crowd. It's, it's incredibly entertaining it's too. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. I uh, I did not realize during the show that it was two and a half hours or whatever it ended up being. Like that went by like oh that. yeah, because yeah. again, I felt like I was laughing the whole time. Or like on the edge of my seat, kind of being like, is this video going to work for these guys? Like that was another aspect of the show that I don't think happens at most of these live shows where people in the audience, I mean, there people are going to boo Coleman no matter what. But if you have a little bit of a heart, you're probably like, fuck, you got to hope this goes well for the kid or at least, you know, just pray this video thing works here. So something technically, because I was like waiting for the big like, 
oh fuck the video went out yeah. and then i didn't i don't know how what would have happened after that like mm -hmm. if, if all this if, if we're 20 minutes in and the video the audio <laughs> cuts out or something you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know what the fuck would have happened so <laughs> i was very happy to see it just run smooth <laughs> on that a little end. though i mean a little bit yeah a little like, bit of you was like Maybe one fuck up. Maybe one fuck well, up. Well, that's what Justin said to me on the show. Uh, the most recent time I was in there, he was like, I don't believe that you're actually rooting for us to have like a He's like, I get it. I was like, no, but I am though. Yeah. I, 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 it would be funny. Yeah. But I actually think one of them could have been fired if, if something went wrong. Yeah. There. Maybe, maybe. So, I mean, I don't know how funny that would have been. Yeah. They got the video down. Well, before we go, we're giving Kirk a grade. Sorry. Yeah. My grade for, I gave him an A plus. I, I'm going to sound changed. like a fanboy. Everybody's going to say you're riding his dick. I'm telling you right now. I've joked about having a talent like this and I'm going to take over the show and all this crap. Never in my life could I do something <laughs> like that. Tom Shattuck talking about doing a comic. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Day, we need yeah. to just let, <laughs> this is something a little special. There, you could probably do a live podcast event. You could do your normal show live like Foreplay does, like like anybody else does their show. They just do their show or for the most part. I'm sure they have some special app. That was not the Kirk Minahan show. No. That was that was Threat Level Midnight if yeah. you're talking about The Office. Yeah. You know, it was... It just was not a real episode. It was, I don't even know. I, I, what, what would you call that? A Broadway performance? I don't even. I'm going to change my grade, Mick. Hmm. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to give you a normal letter. I'm going to give you the letter R for redeemed. Oh, I like that. There redeemed, sir. Hey. That's, that's the final grade that's right the there. the final grade, huh? Yeah, no, I. Uh, I mean, he killed it. There's he nothing, really did. There's really nothing else to say. He really did. Um, in his interactions with the audience, like, you know, he goes up and down. He, he makes you sure like he kind of goes to every seat. Like, How about the walkout? The walkout was fantastic. Electric, you know the 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 video. We'll we'll get into the McBait filming in just a second because, <laughs> good lord, was that something? <laughs> that was maybe maybe the strangest day of my life. I would I'll say I, uh, maybe the strangest hour of my life. Easily the most. Uh, like if I look back at events in my life and I'm like, was that real or was that a fever dream? <laughs> yeah. That's the one that I'm like, that might have been a fever dream. Yeah, like, I don't know if that was real because. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, what about some of the. Uh, the side acts. We'll do a quick little report card on them, All right. and then we'll we'll get into that. What, what do you give them? Mutt? I think you already said it. Oh, our favorite, right? Yeah, A plus for Mutt for the side act. What about Casey and Steve from Gloucester? Um, yeah, They're Dirty the, Dancing. Yeah, did you yeah. get that live? Did you get the whole aspect of that? I swear I did not. Really? I'm fucking so dumb. I was like, hmm. I guess Steve's just living out a dream. I was like, there's. I was like, like, like they're doing charity. I was like, oh, look at them. That's nice. <laughs> of them. Essentially, he is, yeah. but. Um, like make a wish foundation here that's good i'm glad kirk partnered up that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty much I'm, why do you think i'm in there come on <laughs> um no i did when when he said nobody puts casey in the corner that yeah i never right seen away. it so i, didn't, I had seen dirty or I, I don't even know if i've seen dirty dancing but i knew that line was from dirty dancing it hmm. um, who's the star in that i've never seen it i think john travolta you ever heard of right. no that's greece yeah that's greece you sure what's the one where he's dancing it might like be, john a weirdo. It might be both he might be in both he's like in tights and they're in the workout place i think that's greece but i think both are they're like the same movie he's got the short-haired lady I don't know who's her. in the forty-year-old virgin later, in? I don't know, never mind. What? Who's she in that? She's the um in the forty-year-old virgin and in what movie? Yeah, she's she's the short-haired lady. I think in forty-year-old virgin, right? Who? Who? What short-haired lady? What? What character? Oh, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe that's not her. Hmm. I think I'm wrong. Actually, now that you say that, who can you give me the character so I can for guess? which one? Forty-year-old virgin? Either or the... either character, other than just give me short-haired lady. What was the original movie we were talking about? Dirty Dancing? Yes. No, the the I was talking about the clip that I saw with John Travolta. Yes. I can't remember her name. People used to think she was a hottie back in the day. What stuff? Give me some names. Spit mm -hmm. some old names. No, but you're saying she's in the 40 year old virgin. Yeah, I thought who so. Who is she in that? Jamie Lee Curtis. I got it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I know who that is. Yeah. She's not in the 40 year old virgin. She's not. She's no. not a she's not doesn't do any no. cameos or anything in there. Mm, I don't think so. I thought she maybe she made an appearance or something. Mm, no. She's not like the sex therapist there. Who's the sex therapist? That's a guy. He has a sex therapist. That's a guy. No, when he, uh, Steve Carell. Have you takes seen the, the movie? Girl. Steve Carell takes the, the girl, not the sex there, whatever he is, the sex educator. Remember, he's like, is it true if you don't use it, you lose oh, it? Oh, yeah, they go to the sex ed yeah. class. Yeah, 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 that's right. They take, he takes the daughter. Yeah. That's a You seen story. the movie? Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, okay. I got you now. I got you. Um, the sex therapist. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? That's Meet the Fockers. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Speaking of which, real quick, before we move on from the uh, live show grades, or actually, let me finish that. We'll finish that. What do you give him the drips? Oh, you got to give him an A plus. You have to. You got to give him an A plus. I mean, you put you go out there and you put up that effort. I don't know if I would have been able to do it. So, like, why do you say that? I don't know. Like, you know, you. It's not like these guys are getting paid or anything. And like, you know, like, 
if, what, if any of them are feel insecure or anything, let's go out there in front of a, a, a thousand, two thousand people. I don't know how many people are in the thing. Yeah. And you're just supposed to get naked. They're not naked, but shirtless and dance yeah. around it. Like, you know, in, in for like three and a half minutes. Yeah. It's not it, like it wasn't like, like it was 30 or seconds. anything like, yeah. imagine, like you're a guy that goes to work every day. That's a weird ass. Oh, 100 you know? percent. Yeah. We, I mean, I saw our Pat beforehand. And, and a wife and kids he, and shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I mean, he, I don't think he realized up until that day that they were going tarps off. Yeah. And so he looked at me and was like, oh no. And just like, I tell his look, he, the look he had on his face, I was like, what's what? going on? We're like an hour before the show. I think they already rehearsed. So I'm, I'm sitting in the, the hotel bar, like watching the game. He comes up to me with this like confused, like paranoid look on his face. I'm like, what's up, dude? And he's just like, we got it. He's like, the shirt, the shirts. And I, like, I didn't know what they were doing. So I was kind of like, I knew, I knew they were part of the show just because I had, I think I had heard someone say that they were at the rehearsal or something, but I didn't know anything about what their, what their involvement was. Yeah. So I was kind of like, he's going to have him be shirtless. Like, what, what, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I, I, I thought maybe he was in like the video that my, the entire time before that I thought, before I found out that he was actually in the show, I thought his p- portion was in the video like ours was. Yeah. So I was just like, Oh, like, I, I don't know what he means. And then he was like shirts off and I was like, Oh, oh they're in the show. And then it all kind of came together. But yeah, no, good for the drips. Uh, I you got to give them an A plus. You get you yeah. have to give the drips. No I saw our, I saw John and Warren afterwards, and he was all fired up. I mean, they they killed it too. And again, it's not thirty seconds of awkward dancing, and you get the hell out of there. It's like three and a half minutes, the full song. Like they they let that thing play out. So I uh, I feel like what they did was harder than what Stephen Gloucester and Casey had to do. You know what I mean? Oh, if you heard Stephen Gloucester had some trouble with the lines. Yeah, yeah. Well, can you, At least I mean, they didn't have lines, right? Or yeah. no, they did. They did. What am I saying? They, they did a little segment. Yeah. They, yeah, they started the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, they didn't start the show. Well, I mean, they the started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I know what you're saying now. Um, yeah, that was great. I thought I thought those guys were great. Anyone else pop in? Who else popped in? Um, I don't think my tante. Oh, uh, Chris Coleman. Oh, I mean, you you said maybe a magician you were talking shit earlier okay keep going i mean i after you ask me you get a guy that can create fire out of nowhere and can evidently deep throat things you're you you're a magician listen he, that's what makes you a magician maybe he's a magician maybe he's not I fire don't, and throat tricks i don't know i'm not a magician I'm, I, don't, I don't have that radar what i can tell you is he is a born performer yo oh, no because doubt about it. that dude was, i don't know how, i think he's younger than coleman right I have no idea. I think he's the younger brother. He is. He's the younger brother. So Col- Coleman's like 24. Yeah. So whatever. He's 22, 21. Commanded the crowd. The kid's screaming like, are you fucking ready, Portland? <laughs> like, it was unbelievable, yeah. dude. I was like, way I, more personality. did not land. I mean, there was, it took a little, you know, the, his assistant, by the way. Well, his assistant stunk. All right. I'm sorry. I'm probably a nice kid. Nice person. Nice family. All of it. That lady stunk. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. Just leaving him hung out. Talk about uh, dry. His fault. No, no, he was trying to you be nice. You have a plant in that I, situation. I know, he probably saw the girl's face light up. She's like, me, pick me, yeah, pick you me. Can't. I have to be here no matter what. Please pick me. She you didn't know? look like she wanted to go up. No. No, she didn't. She didn't want to go up there. I'm sure she's great. And then, and, then, and, then, and then the fucking bastard. He has the audacity to take toilet paper that he's been throwing around across the stage. Yeah. And, and then he drags eight sheets of it. Yeah. And then goes, can you put this in your mouth? I'm yeah. like, oh my God. Yeah. 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 Fucking girls. Yeah, yeah. That's got to be a drunk <laughs> minifan up there. It can't be like, yeah, some, you know what? Yeah. like some fucking nice looking lady that dressed up to go to a theater <laughs> and you're asking her to put up used toilet paper. No, in mouth. The kid was electric. I, I know his tricks didn't go that smooth, but his, they went pretty good. Exactly. Like, dude, he, he's a young kid. He's screaming at the crowd. I was fired up. I didn't know what the fuck I was about to see, but for that 30 seconds there, when he was screaming, I was yeah. like, what's going on? I mean, Coleman, technical guy, help your brother out. I mean, you know that he's going to do a trick with a quarter where he's lighting on a fire or something small. How about the camera that you have that Don't goes play live Coleman, to the screen? Dude, he could have put a camera right in front of him this? that went live to the screen. We, everybody would have got the quarter trick. Nobody Any, knew what happened. Anything just you created can do. Fire. Anything you can do to blame Coleman. It was his fault. Holy it shit. Was, it, was, it was Coleman's fault that Coleman's tricks didn't land. Okay. <laughs> it was a Coleman on Coleman crime. Um, Let's see. What else? What else do we have? Um, Oh, the thing I was going to mention is they, Blind Mike was talking about this. Worst uh, sequels to comedies. Off the top of your head, what do you got? I'm terrified about Happy Gilmore too. but my wor- too. the worst is probably Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, right? I saw a lot of people saying that. I mean, it's so fucking bad. Like, just why? Why? Leave it alone. Just leave a classic alone, man. It's not the second one, but the third Home Alone is dog shit. Doesn't count. It is like doesn't count. dog shit. No, that doesn't shit. count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Yeah. That doesn't count. Okay, fair. I can't, right? No, well, it's not the second one, so it's, it's yeah. yeah. Second one's good. Like that, that's probably the only good sequel that there's ever been for being real. 
like Maybe. a non-trilogy, like a, a storyline. Do you count the Oceans movies as comedies? Those Oceans 11s, 12s? Hmm. Are those comedies? Because if so, Ocean's action, 12 right? was pretty good. No, they are kind of action. They're like small action gambling. I don't know. What would you call that? They're like, they're, they're dramas. Drama. Dramedy. Yeah. Dramedy. Yeah, they're dramedies. Yeah, they're closer to Wolf of Wall Street than they are. I don't know. I like Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's talk about the McBait filming. Let's get into that. Oh, yeah, the filming. Let's talk about the filming. Um, I was, I'm, I'm, I mean, not, I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. That was like the hardest like two weeks of my life. What do you mean? Three weeks of my life, whatever it was. What are you talking about? Not being able to talk about it was the hardest three oh, weeks not spoiling it. of my life. Yeah. I yeah. can't tell you. Especially you on the show. You know how nervous Mick was, people? You have any idea? Not for himself to spoil it. Do you know how nervous he was I, coming on live with me, having me talk? If you if you go back, there are moments where I just mentioned even Kirk's name and Mick's like, no, there was one time like, during our live stream like, recently. <laughs> it was during the um the giveaway live stream, whatever. Well, you think Kirk was like Pirates Cove? You're like, no, <laughs> yeah. never been here. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, you said you, you mentioned Mick Bait during our stream. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And my face, yeah, my yeah, face yeah, went yeah, from yeah. like smiling happy to just dead stone. We were face. talking about the Diddy stuff and like pedophile stuff. I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, you, I mean, you probably you'd be right up your alley with Mick Bait. And you're like, what? And I'm like, dude, I didn't even fucking. Say I was ready to fucking kill you. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Uh, that was that was my biggest fear, though, was spoiling. Yeah. That. And, it, sure. and it wasn't like the it was the best bit or anything. It no, was just the no, fact no, that no. it was somebody else's show. And like, I don't want to. I would it. never want to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but when he so when I'll tell you the quick little side story of it all. Coleman or Kirk tells me, I don't even know. I think Coleman hit me up one of the more recent times that I went into the show and had said, like, hey, we're going to be filming some stuff for Portland. Kirk has an idea. Blah, blah, blah. Is it cool? What, what days can you do? Yeah. I was under the impression that like I they were gonna come down and film me, like like Coleman and Justin were gonna film me doing something and it was yeah. gonna be part of the show, or, you know, or something like that. Never, and I mean never did I think Kirk was coming to the house <laughs> at no point. So flash so when this is happening is when Kirk gets sick. I don't remember what day that was, but Minifans will remember he was sick and out a couple of days. Yeah. And thank fucking God, because they were supposed to film with us on Tuesday. I found out that he was actually coming to the house on Monday because he tweeted out like, uh, I'm sick, blah, blah, blah. You know, you're not doing the show. And then Coleman hits me up saying, hey, we have to reschedule. And that's when the light bulb clicked. I go, we're rescheduling because Kirk's sick and Kirk has to be here to film. Kirk's going to be at my house. Holy fucking shit. We have to clean the house. It was like, what the hell do we do? Like, uh, I, I just, I knew to whatever happens, he's going to be hypercritical of it. We have to make sure that we don't have yeah. crazy shit hanging or anything like that. I thought we did a pretty good job. Threw the dogs next door. We made sure the dogs were away. We had enough respect to say these, they can't be in the same Not house yet. as Kirk Minahan. Yeah, no. We, we, we wouldn't do that to him. No. I thought he was, uh, I, th I thought he was somewhat impressed. Not impressed, but at least um, comfortable. Yeah. Wasn't disgusted. How about that? I think he was surprised is a word to use. I, I would hope so. Yeah. I would hope it was a better experience than the Gus household, the I way mean, he talks about it. I just think he's met you and talked to you and was like, oh, this kid lives in Felfer. Or, I would or think was, that's probably lives fair. in a frat house or whatever. I would think that's fair. Yeah. Um, yeah. But when he actually, so when they came that day, <laughs> by the way, you knew the house, the house probably never looked cleaner. <laughs> and the cleaners were here like an hour before. So yeah. that's <laughs> the only reason why. But they they came, I think around like five six o'clock at night, yeah. something like that. Kirk shows up, and again, this is kind of what I was saying to saying to you about Mike and the Minifans on Friday night. Like, I, I was under the impression that he just doesn't want to be bothered, which is why, like, I like him coming to my house to film something was completely out of the question. Because why would he be within five thousand feet of our house? <laughs> you know, like I again, I don't blame him. But I, I'm under the impression that he just doesn't really want to like want to be bothered. And really couldn't have been further from that. Like again, like very friendly when he came here, very just like appreciative of let, you know, letting us letting him film there and whatnot. Like I was kind of expecting like a pre-show vibe before the KMS thing where it's like, all right, let's get this done, go boom. But he was very nice. Again, very nice and um yeah, just I don't know, very I, I guess I, I was surprised by that. I mean it was an honor for me. You yeah, you pulled that a couple times, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Coleman has it, but I pray that he caught the audio. There's so many times where you go, he, he like he's like, all right, thanks guys, or something like that. It, Kirk, it was an honor. It, Kirk, it's an honor. Anytime, an honor, an honor, an honor, an honor. An honor. <laughs> he said it like ten times. Oh, uh, it was great. It really. Like, can was. I come in and be like, it'd be an honor if you would. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> please, truly. please come in, please. You want to water anything? You need anything? Um, I podcast Jesus himself in my house. Okay, How many minutes to say that. All right. So <laughs> this is something that like people are going to laugh at. They're not going to think this is serious. Like again, may maybe, maybe he was just being nice and in a good mood. And this again, goes back to what I'm just saying, where he is more personal than people think and give himself credit for. 
Christian and Kirk Minahan might be like best friends. Oh, me, me, like, me li- Jeff and Mutter. Like were, legitimately, were like the way yeah. they were talking in the kitchen, they were talking about golf. They're talking about like the area, how much you bought the house for, all you know, all this stuff, the neighborhood. I'm sitting there like, w- again, fever dream. Like, what is going on? I'm looking at Coleman. We're like, what? What the fuck? Like, what, is this done with you? What is happening? I'm like, I don't. Am I supposed to socialize here? I was under the impression that we don't speak. He was pr- on the air. He was probably like, I have to say whatever I can so I get out of the psycho's house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He's like, I got to say whatever I need so to I'll say. Get chained up. <laughs> I got to get out of here alive. Yeah, yeah no. it's great, kid. Looks great. But then also Golf, during, sure. during Mike and the Minute fans, I, I'm getting yapped at by cinema lords or somebody about something. I don't even know. And I turn around and you guys are chopping it up. My guy. I mean, I, I literally I turn around and these My guys guy. are just, you know, shooting the shit. What's going yeah. on? How's the drive? Yeah, how you doing? But you ready for the, I think Christian said he's excited for the show or something like that. Yeah. I was like, what? What is happening? My guy. We're boys. Oh, God. I don't uh, it's so shocking. Uh, so, no, it's, it's, it's not. It's just yeah. it's so it's it, I guess the shocking thing is, again, like I'm just. You're jealous. I get I'm it. used to your friends. You're, you guys yeah, are. Right. That's I get it. No, you're, right. you're trying to work for him. I'm. I'm friends with them. That's it's, right. It's different. That's right. It's a different relationship. That's right. You can tell. Like you can tell. Like when Carabas goes in there, they're friends. Yeah. You can hear it. It's like what is that? What's going to happen? You go in there next week? I would think. Right. Yeah. Or whenever yeah. they come back. <laughs> uh, other notes from the show, or I guess well, actually, real quick with the filming. Yeah. So everybody saw her. he was in the dress on oh, the video. Okay. Jesus. So we don't have to spoil this anymore. Yeah. When he, when he put that, so he shows they showed up normal, you know, he showed up in normal clothes, obviously. Did they release the video? They yeah, did? yeah, right. Yeah. No, oh, I thought you meant for the live show. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. I don't know if they have. I don't think they're. I don't going think to. they're gonna, right? Yeah. That's so funny. I get that. I get why they won't, but like, it's, yeah, it's kind of exclusive, right? It's yeah. yeah. It's a great job. They did a great job on it. So he, in part of the video, he's wearing a dress where he's running from Gus's house to like my house, right? Yeah. And our poor neighbors. I mean, our neighbors have been through a lot. If you remember, folks, we have the Saudis who have broken through my door. Um, we shot a video similar, not similar, but we shot a video dressed as Saudi Arabians. And we had full turbans on where our neighbors saw that as well. With Nerf guns chasing. With Nerf, chasing us around the house with Nerf guns. They've seen it all. I don't know if they ever expected to see podcast Jesus Kirk Minahan himself in a wedding dress sprinting looking for help throughout the lawn. Like they, they must have thought we were shooting a gay porno. They're kind of younger, too. They're, they're, they're not even 40, right? Would you say? Yeah. No, across the street? Yeah. No, they're, yeah, they're young. Young. They're both like veterinarians, very good people. I, they must be horrified. They must be like, what the fuck goes on there? The, the funnier part is like, we're friendly with them, but like, we don't talk with them. Right. So like, it's not like, so like, it's like, oh, it's you know, like we nice. can joke around about no, it. Right? No, yeah. no. So they have no idea. They were coming home, like while this was all going on. It the guy pulled into his driveway. So damn funny. As Kirk was walking through our front lawn and <laughs> dress. It was like, what, I mean, what is when, he, when he's like, I just got to go change real quick. He went in the bathroom and we're all waiting out in the living room. I didn't know what, I didn't know what that meant. And he walked, he walked, had no idea what it meant. And he walked out and he was in a wedding dress. And I was like, I'm in a fever dream. This is a, <laughs> this is a fever dream. I'm waking up in Kirk Minahan's in my house in a wedding dress. In like the <laughs> acting, he, he was giving me shit during the uh, the show, oh, and I was blinking. God. I guess are, I was crazy you, blinking during it or something. You're the worst actor ever. Listen, I was not nervous about anything <laughs> other than the house being presentable. Okay, <laughs> I did not give a fuck. I was like, let me just make sure the house does not look terrible. I was just like, all right, I'm gonna read a couple lines. It'll be yeah. easy. There was no script. I did not get handed a script the night before. I didn't get to practice anything. I was just told it was basically Kirk looking at me say this and say this the right way. And then I wouldn't say it the right way. And he's like, is this what we're going to do? Is this it? And I was like, oh, fuck. And that's when I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. And I don't want to waste this guy's time. Um, but I, I, I guess I guess I'm probably not made for the camera. No. It's safe to say. No, you're not. You know who killed it? Who? We had, it was already talked about, but Gus is made for the camera. Oh, dude. my God. He was great. He killed that role. He was great. He killed his fucking Ninja Turtle fucking psychopathic chained up role. Yeah, he did. No, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I felt like I was. Uh, he is like the guy from Split. Yes. He's, he's the guy from Split. Yes. That's exactly what Gus is. It's a good point. Yeah. He, he, play, he would play that character well. Um, but yeah, no, that was that the, that whole thing was. I, I just didn't. I didn't want to like waste his time, and I also didn't want like. I just didn't want to. I I kept fucking. What did I keep fucking up? One of the lines. Um, the like kiss thing. You kept like blanking, and they yeah, read that yeah. like three or four times. Again, people are like, "Oh, well, what, what do you mean? It's easy? Yeah, it's easy. Really? I'm fucking. <laughs> do you guys? Do you guys listen to the show? Like, are you like I'm sitting this close to him? Like, what the fuck? Poor Kirk. Oh my god. I mean, I can't believe you had to get that close to you. I feel I mean, bad. I really did. I he, must, he must have felt disgusted. He oh. went home and showered. I can guarantee. You. Oh yeah, he's in a hazmat. Disgusted. Yeah, he, absolutely. Yeah. He, full on. Just, you might never be asked to come in just because he has to live with that fact that he was that close to you. He doesn't even want to see you again. It's a good point. It's a good point. I know. And all the other. Oh well, Gus was like laying with him too, <laughs> and Clemmer sat on top of him too. Dude, you know, you know what? That. Oh my God, Kirk had to lay in his bed. It's. 
disgusting. Oh my god, <laughs> that, that is what a trooper. No. You, you know what? He did that for you people. I know. It's Everybody true. that showed up, he got in, he got in that bed That's for a you. Good point. It you really know? is. What a fucking hero. Oh, god. <laughs> um, let me think. Let me think. What, what was you know what? What were the loudest crowd pops that you you remember from the show? They were talking about Mutt this on KMS. Was a big one. Jeff D. Lowe had a big one. Jeff D. Lowe got a really big one. Um. Uh, Minute fans, I think, are I don't know if they're split. I shouldn't say Minute fans. There's some Minute fans that are loud commenters that are kind of down on Jeff D. Lowe, and I'm not sure why. He seems like he's For always what? down to like participate what's in their, the world. What's their critique? I don't know. There's like always oh, the worst. He calls in too much. You know, I've I've seen right. that. I'm not, I don't. I, that's that's literally. I've, I've just seen it. I, I'm not saying that. I love Jeff. I don't get the critique still, but okay. He calls in too much. You don't get saying someone's the worst. His yeah. takes, his whatever, his personality, he's boring. You know, yes. you know, no. no. Um, well, there's that narrative out there for some people, but not me. You know, you know, I don't know why that just reminded me. You know, what was killing me during the show. Hmm. The people that would yell out things. I yeah. don't get it. I just, I dude, I don't get it. No, that guy got booted out for doing that, right? Two people, two people were yelling out random stuff at times, and they got booted. And I just like, why? Yeah. Why are you there yelling things out? Yeah, we um, like he'd be doing like leading up to something, like whether he was going to introduce like somebody. And someone's like, my, it's my, it's my. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Shut yeah, the fuck like, up. Dude, calm down. Please. Calm down. Please. I get you're excited for the show, but yeah. please calm down. He's going to finish down. it. Let him finish the bit. He's doing something. He's doing this lead up on purpose. We don't need you to yell the name. He, yeah. And I would think KMS for the most part is like a, I don't know if this is the right word, but it has like an intelligent audience where like they're kind of <laughs> not, 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 <laughs> yeah. okay. not like not, not GPA, not yeah. by the GPA. Right? Yeah. I mean, by like the, hmm. the show where like, you kind of have to understand different levels of like humor and like sarcasm. Yeah. Like it's a not depth, like a, yeah, sure. that's what yeah, I mean. But you know yeah. what? Most, some, I, I, so like dude, my, point, take it so literally. my point is with that is if you were the type of person to be a big fan of the show, I feel like you would get like, all right, there's some sort of a performance aspect right now. Yeah. Let's let this play out and see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Not just scream my yeah. name. Like you're saying. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. But they take some of them take it so literal. Yeah. It's so funny. Steve got a huge one. Yeah, Steve got a good pop. Steve got a big. What'd you make of Steve disappearing there? He got drunk, right? That's what they were saying. Uh, apparently, they were Steve was hammered. Yeah, I would have. Uh, Julie got him hammered. Yeah, yeah, right? I would have loved. I, would've, I didn't get to talk to Steve at all. I saw. Um, I saw Cullen at the bar beforehand. Have too. You, you've interacted with him, Steve? Yeah. Uh no, just on the um, or I DM'd him during Deserted Truth, and I, I don't know if I sent him a first draft or something, but something like that. No, Excuse no off air interactions. No, never. No, no. just uh, and then during Sako when That's we were right. on the air. So no, I've never really spoken to him. Seems like a nice enough guy. Seems a little awkward, but dude, he, Steve was looking jacked, yoked. Steve was looking big, yoked. It's a no, big he's, dude. He's on something, right? Yeah, he's on that RFK. Yeah, he like he he probably like when you when you looked at the entire crowd there, he'd probably win the battle royale out of the whole theater. Yeah. Who's taking that guy out? He's pretty big. That's a big fella, Justin. That I mean, that's probably the last two standing, right? It's like Andre the Giant versus Chris the big Coleman's show at a the magician. End. Ooh, it's yeah, like Ray Mysterio. Light them all on fire, fire, yeah. <laughs> Blow it up. Um, let me think. Let me think. What else? What else? Where was, what were you saying right before that? I was, I was thinking of something, and then you said that. And I was, Sorry. Ah, what was it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Like come on. Come on. Come on. What were you just talking about? Uh, right when I said Chris Coleman, I, I forgot. You're killing me. Sorry. Right. Not fuck. your fault. Not your fault. Kind of, but uh, uh, um, you do. All right. Well, that's really, I think... Oh, loudest crowd pops. That's what we were doing. Sorry. We were. Jesus Christ. We got on Steve being jacked. That's how I distracted you. <laughs> Apologize. Right, right, right. Jack Steve fine. will get you, though. Jack That's Steve fine. will get you. Um, the K Casey Smith and Stephen Glosser got a big one when, yep. when she did her, I guess, what do you call that? What, that move? The jump move? What do you oh, call yeah, that move? Pretty good. What do you call it? What is that move? I don't, she's a fox, though. She's a good looking gal. She's a fox. She's a pretty gal. That's yeah. A, that's in, a, in person at the at the bar. Yeah. I could see why Minute fans were lining up. Can confirm she looks probably even better in person. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I want to say this too. I don't know if this I'm I'm curious to ask Mutt this. I don't know if this was intentional or not. Mutt stood up at one point, kind of like on his chair. I don't know if he stood up on his chair, like the edge of his chair, like the, the bottom little, you know, two the two part where you put your feet just to elevate himself a little bit mm -hmm. and said all right folks the line to take pictures starts over here <laughs> being like all right give this girl I, I think he meant like can we give this girl a little room yeah, there, was, pictures. I, yeah, there was like 15 sweaty minute fans like around this girl it's a weird just trying to watch the game That's such a weird no move they're being me. everybody just wants a picture move. i get it but it just you know, it, got, it got a little crowded where like literally they her and jeff <laughs> were like at the corner of a bar yeah. and it was just like around them people just like waiting to take a picture the, be like, the best part is people <laughs> people were taking picture they'd be like oh can i have a picture with her and they'd be like I'm not just asking for her, you know. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> yeah. let me take a picture. I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah, fine. All right, fucking, <laughs> yeah, sure. okay. You want to take a picture sure. of the hot blonde? Yeah. Uh, but One she, of everybody. She, she also, honestly right. probably 
at many times felt a little, I don't know, felt uncomfortable, but I Gosh, just, should have. I just, I looked over when Mutt said that. I was like, that was probably a good move by Mutt. And everybody again was being nice. She was being super nice, super friendly. It just really felt like she was in a South Park episode. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Like, yeah, where am I? Where are these yeah. fucking weirdos? But she tweeted it out. She was like, your people are my people. I love them in a fence. Like she's, yeah, she's, no, she she's was, in on it. I mean, again, you know, she's somebody of status too. Like she was just out there mingling with a bunch of fucking minifans. Right. Exactly. You know? Same with Jeff. So yeah. yeah. All those guys are really cool. And yeah, uh, Dave Cullinane too. Did you, you can imagine that. Talking about status. I mean, nine out of 10. <laughs> Walked right by me at the bar. Easy nine. Walked you look, right you know what? Me. They talked about it. He looked tall. He might've been had some inserts listen, in. He, listen, he walks right by me and I'm in a corner of my eye. I'm like, who's this tall jacked fox walking yeah. by me? And I, got, I look out and then Cullinane makes eye contact with me. He's like, oh, I didn't even see it. Hair. He comes over to me. First thing I say, I'm like, hey, Dave, how are you? Good to see you. And I was like, Dave, you look good. Because I'm not gonna lie, Dave looked good. Hair looked full. He was looked he, tall. He was ready to go. He was slamming <laughs> drinks back too. I mean, the confirmed Colin and he confirmed it on the show, but he was smoked. Had the energy. Oh, he, he was the hammered. Energy. I was watching him drink beforehand. Not that I'm just keeping a pitch count, but you know, a little couple of mental notes. Yeah. Again, I only had one or two drinks before the show. Oh, I started doing lines right off the bar. Really? Oh yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. Him and Steve. Really? Yeah, you know, that's why probably why I didn't get to come out. Wow. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes They're sense. hammering him. That makes sense. Yep. Um, yeah, no, it was good to see Colin. I was actually, I was happy to see him. He, his video part, his part of the video is hysterical too. Yeah. That's, that's great. <laughs> it was. Um, what else do we have? Did you see Blind Mike on Lauren Compton? You got any? I did. did. You listen to it. Look handsome on his first day, if you ask me. I thought I, I thought he killed it. You know, I really did. I thought he killed it. How do you? Uh, are there parts of you that uh, you can't help but cringe when she does her giant laugh? I can't help it. I'm like. Oh, yeah, it's a little cringe. Like knife, it like cuts me like a knife somehow. I don't yeah, know why. she's got a very loud, obnoxious laugh. I'm like, oh, that was that funny to you, huh? Really? I'm like, all right. I think it's kind of like a nervous energy too. Like, yeah. I think it's part of the show. Yeah. Like, you're on like a first date, or you're interviewing about a first date. Very hot. Also learned recently yeah. there are a bunch of nudes of her out there, so that's cool. Yeah, we'll go. Jada Playboy. There, there you water. go. Uh, that'd be Reddit.com, folks. Yeah, Playboy. Uh, <laughs> they're they're not even oh, weird really? nudes. Yeah, oh, good for her. Yeah, not even weird nudes. Let's get paid for yeah. even better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I thought he, I thought he crushed it on there i mean it's gonna there's gonna be i don't know if i don't know how when's kms come back like two weeks right that's who he's claiming yeah so no i don't know how the deep 15th. they'll go into it but some of the audio mike's gonna want to you know it's just cringy because it's that type of show right it's like him answering questions about like he did great His I, thought he killed it. No, awesome. he, I thought he absolutely killed it yeah. like i was laughing during the interview because it was just like this is blind mike yeah. like this is you know it's I, great me too I was just, yeah i was laughing too was i was great. i was stoked for him um it was there was a lot of anticipation to that so yeah. good good to have that come out <laughs> i i don't listen to her too often i don't really know much about her do you is she a comedian like on stage does she do stand-up nipples are pink i know that yes but does she do stand-up do you know couldn't tell you because i know she's with like cigara and those guys i believe it yeah she's hot i know that she's right we've established that's, we've that's, got there we, we were that's, aware that's pretty much you're a horn dog dude horn dog alert alert did you have i was gonna say do you have i don't have the drop on me but <laughs> you get the picture um let me think what else what else oh giveaway updates um the shirts are coming i talked to the people or i shouldn't say i talked to the people who won the shirts um they're coming they're gonna be shipped to you probably in a couple weeks don the jeweler the yeti is coming as well we also are giving away I think I'm going to give this thing away. I don't know. How do you feel about this? You go. I have a longboard that is a beyond average podcast longboard. It's one of those like, Couldn't not a longboard, not a longboard. What is it? Like 30, 30 inches. What do you, what do you call those? Couldn't tell you. Shortboard. Shortboard. There you go. Right. Shortboard. Well, not I don't use it. I don't use it. And I feel like it's just going to hurt me someday. Like I'm going to get hurt if I use it. Who do you think? There's got to be some fans that probably can rip it. Right. And it's a beyond average edition. It's a one of one. It's a Milwaukee. Yeah, like a uh, tool Milwaukee style. Maybe we hang it instead. I don't know. Maybe we'll hang it instead of giving it away. I don't. We'll think about that. We might be giving away a longboard, folks. Okay, you cross your fingers. We could put it up for auction and then shame whoever buys it. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, oh, it's true. That's you'd have to. You, you, if you spend any amount of money on beyond average merch, you're a loser. There's a Dave Cullinane joke. That's that, that's that's some what? That was a Dave Cullinane joke. I was trying to pull there. I missed it. Yeah, it was an <laughs> auction member. They yes, I remember, it, I remember, yeah. I remember, I remember the auction. What was it? It was uh, the, Bobby the guitar. No, oh, it was the, the signed guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sign yeah. guitar. Yeah, that <laughs> fucking thing. No chance. <laughs> that was, no chance. That was one of my favorite Dave moments. Actually. Oh, he was so convinced it was real. He was like, what do you? No, it's no. not that it was real. It's that. No, like, the guitar. No, he, that, everybody was like, that guitar should be worth more money. Yeah, not even that, but he like he, the just his principle on what happened was the funniest part. I don't, he he oh, put it up for an auction for a price. And some guy was like, walked by, was like five grand. 
I guess. Yeah. Did, like just thinking maybe yeah, not yeah, even that's get what it. it was. And he was insulted by And the then that was the only one that landed. Yeah. So he got it. And they were like, wow, what a jerk. And it's yeah. like, he just literally came to your auction thing. I think it was like 2,500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like whatever, either way, yeah. thousands of dollars. Probably didn't think he was going to get it. You the know guitar I mean? itself is like 10 grand. Yeah. Add the signature. Like that's that day was mad. It was worth way more than <laughs> yeah. it sold for. That was great. Oh, Colin, he's, he's something else. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> Unless you have anything else. Um, uh, did you, uh, how'd you feel about, uh, Menor's bit there? Trying to th- claim that Kirk was drunk. I don't know if that was Menor's bit or vodka, the Dr. Vodka. I don't guy. know. I just saw Menor's going all crazy Menor, on it's Twitter. Menor's it. show. It's Menor's show. He's the CEO of the network. Uh, the things that are said on there, ultimately his, his responsibility, mm-hmm. right? Like if I say something terrible right now, which I won't, but if I were to, I would get in trouble, but I think the Kirk Minahan show YouTube would get in trouble. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to do that. But Menor's, again, my point is if something is said on your network is you know you you bear some responsibility okay. and it's not like he shut it down right away he actually tweeted about it he even tweeted there was alleged right i think Am I right about that mm, i think yeah weird weird move there um again like i don't know if they thought like kirk was drinking at mike in the minifant is that what that was said like, I, yeah I, I guess so i don't know what, what are we what are we talking yeah. about here like it's just so it's a lame take you know very lame stupid take. take um just a yeah i don't was it a bit too was it more of a i didn't listen to it so i i, I don't know it seemed like menners was maybe trying to play it that it was a bit because he was like people joke about pedophiles and all this other shit and a vodka bit got you he was because t- uh what's his name the the drip guy was saying he was coming over to the other network because of it remember? yeah you know i, re- I remember why well, yeah. yeah i remember he was no he said he's no longer doing a show on the network mm-hmm. because yeah. of it. yeah and then menners came i was like it's a bit or a vodka bit. i don't know stupid bit. maybe it was um you want to do a quick lightning round you get one sentence to uh, these headlines sure okay um how do you feel about players constantly bitching that they're getting gambling lines shouted out at them? Oh, like you ruined my parlay. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. You gotta have, Oh, shut up. Okay. Shut up players. Uh, shut up. You get paid more money because of this, the TV who, deal, the, the gambling deals pay your salary. Okay. Who do you think watched, uh, the game yesterday more women or men? Caitlin Clark's men. Uh, <laughs> Lizzo quit making music and is also back. Am I to supposed to give music. you more on this? Or no, just, I like okay, this. Okay, just one ahead. sentence. Okay. Lizzo quit making music and is also back to making music. I know that she got bullied out of making music, but she's back. She announced it today. It was a whole three-day break. And she quit, and then she became back. Is there any update on the dancers that she harassed? I think she just fucked them, and everybody was like, all right. Happens. Fine with me. She can fuck whoever she wants. She runs the, the show. you make when you sign up for Lizzo tour? steve was supposed to go on Bill Maher, but Bill Maher uh, uh, is famous, I guess, for smoking weed during all of his podcasts, and that's part of his bit. And he asked steve to come on. steve said, hey, I'd love to come on. However, I've been sober for 16 years. Would love to do it. Don't want to do any of the smoking of the weed and don't want to smoke in front of me. Yeah. Bill Maher said, nope. Sorry, you're a loser. I think it's Bill Maher's right to do whatever he wants on his show, and if that's part of the show, to be like, you know what? If the show's not for you, I understand. I thought you'd be, I thought you'd be a great guest. Clearly, I'm reaching out. I also understand from Steve O's perspective, where it's like, dude, what the fuck? But I would imagine Steve O's not the first guest to go on there to not smoke weed that he smoked weed in front of. Yeah. So it's tough. But if it's sobriety reasons, then Steve O's like, yo, it's not worth it. Yeah. So I, I, I get it. It's it's tough to have a real issue there. Like on the face value of it, he sounds like an asshole. I hate Bill like, and I think he's an asshole. He so. is an asshole, and I do too. But I'm just saying, you sound like an asshole, not. Not do like being like no, I have yeah, to I smoke my weed in front of you. Yeah, I don't like but hate like, Bill Maher's thing because it's his podcast. It's the show. That's it's, it's, part of the show. A, it's the show. Like, is that like going on hot wings and be like, I can't do any of the hot wings? You know what I mean? Like, I, like I'm not going to answer the questions with food in my mouth. Yeah, like, like no, that's what we do. Part of it is like, no, nah, man, the whole podcast is kind of like we smoke weed and get a little loose. Like, well, not even that. He doesn't have to smoke weed. I, I would imagine, like I'm saying, there's been times where a guest he has been on don't want to smoke. Yeah, and then he probably makes it even more awkward. Well, then I mean. I mean, fuck, fuck you, Bill Maher. Just fucking don't it's smoke. It's his show. Just, fuck you. Yeah, That's what yes. I'd say. Fuck you. It's yeah, his you fucking would. show. Yeah, you, if somebody, if you were trying like, to, have a, if you were trying to have a guest on, and they were like, "Yeah, man, I'm do- I'm down, definitely down," but I, I can't do the uh, weed smoking. Do you mind not smoking during it? You wouldn't be like, "No, I have to smoke during it, bro." I would say, "Have you ever watched the show before?" Because clearly you haven't, <laughs> because we have a lot of people on the show that don't smoke weed, and that's part. Of, I don't even know if this is true. I'm just under the presumption of that, like he does this every episode, right? I don't know. I also don't know this. Okay, I was we'll confused. Just say by that. It. Let's yeah. just pretend, right? If that's the case, if it's like, oh, we smoke weed at the 45 minute segment or the 45 minute mark or whatever, unless he's the first guest to ever not smoke weed on there, then, then yeah, like I, I think it's his right to be like, it's part of our show. If you don't want to come on, don't come on. Yeah, I guess that's fair. It's not like Still he's fuck like, Bill Maher. yeah, I'm with that. Yeah, no, I'm with that. All right. All right. That's all I got. Those, no, are, that's all, that's all that's headlines good. I had. Good, yeah. good, good stuff. All right. We will talk to, oh, you know what? Hmm. Christian Thursdays is where we're going to be. You're, we're losing you. Oh, you're right. Tell the people. Uh, I 
Wednesdays and Thursdays are off. Wednesdays are basketball. Thursdays are hockey. So I, uh, I'm starting another pickup league. So Thursdays. That means Minifans, fans uh, stay on the lookout because we're going to need some voices on here. We're going to need some segments filled. I, you know, you're going to get some alone time. You're going to get some late night podcast. I don't know if I can do these live late at night. Like we've done the three M podcasts get a little crazy around here. I, you could, I was going to say, I could probably do. No, you're out. We earlier. bumped you. You're okay, gone. Cool. You're gone. You're, yep, you're, you're gone. You. Gone. Um, if you can, if you're here and you can do it, we'll yeah. obviously do it. But I'm just saying for people who are listening, if you ever wanted to be on the show starting on Thursday, he's going to be doing hockey. So some days I'm going to need some people to fill in. So please, uh, let me know if you want to do that. Andy Mayo. Oh, how about that fucking puke? <laughs> Didn't show up. What a fucking, what a you're fucking You're on the Friday pubs. before. You're the, or the, the day of Mike and the Minute fans. You're literally the day before the live show. You're on the Kirk Minahan show. And what? You, you can't show up because it's fucking Easter? Guy's a registered narcissist. Because it's Easter? That's Are you kidding why. me? That's not why. You know what it was? He, he probably felt left out that he wasn't, had any part of it. It's all about him. It's all about him. That it's male performance. And that's another thing that you and Kirk were talking about during Mike and the Minifins. Yeah, that boys. Mayo performance was un. It, it, literally, I wanted to turn the show off, and I'm the biggest fan of the show. Yeah. I it was like, anytime he opened his mouth, it, I wanted to punch the fucking steering wheel. It was so hard to listen to. And I, I, I had somebody, again, massive fan of the show, listen to every episode. Andy Mayo is toxic yeah. on that microphone. And I'm, I'm sure I'm annoying. I get this is probably what people, when you listen to me there, I, I, I get it. He brings everything Way back level. to him. It is, it's like nothing. Nothing. Can I'm a narcissist. I make a lot about me. <laughs> that guy can't go five minutes without making the conversation about himself. There's it, nothing that gets by him. Nothing. Oh, I, I I don't know if he's like aware of it too and he plays into it. It's got to be a bit. I don't it has know. to be. I don't know. Because like they're saying, they're like, I mean, people, if you did this every day in like your real life, like the, pe people wouldn't be around you. They just wouldn't do it. They wouldn't be able to deal with it. And he's like, no, people love me. Yeah. He, he reminds me of Al. Oh no, no! Him and no. Al actually have a lot of a <laughs> lot of similarities. Jesus. They really do. No, they really do. In what way? In what way to Andy Mayo? Like, like, like they who, both who, think they're funnier than they are. Let's start there. <laughs> no, like for real, Al thinks he's like kind of funny. Al's a funny guy. You see, there you go. He's a funny guy. Does anybody listening think Al's funny? No. Yeah, they, well, I, I bet you. I bet no. you. People think. You know what? Speaking of Al, you may not know this, but uh, you were asked for during the show, and you were nowhere to be found. Yeah, he's, he didn't go to the live show. Again, Nowhere to be found. I, I text the kid. We're not on good terms. We're just, we're, <laughs> we're, it's very awkward when we talk right now. So anytime I've texted him, it's been very, it was to set up the show for, for Kirk to do the KMS show. And then I texted him Friday night or Thursday night <clears throat> and said, hey, are you going to go to the live show? Like, what the hell is the deal? You coming to Portland? And he's like, uh, I don't know. I got a big Easter thing the next day. <laughs> and I'm like, well, Sam's definitely going home. We ended up going home. Yeah, we went home. We ended up going home. That nap. Like, it probably... At like midnight, right? Yeah. Whenever the show ended, we pretty much left. Yeah. Well, no, we hung out for a bit and then we ended up, we decided we weren't sure if what we were going to do. And we we're like, I'm, you were like, you were driving. So yeah. I, I was kind of like, yeah, if you want to. And you're like, yeah, I'm down to drive home right now. I was like, hoping. Well, I was like, I, I didn't know if you wanted it. to go mingle because I know that there was a bunch of people coming back yeah. to the thing. And I was like, I get it. If you need to go fucking make face. No, or no, no. Politics, I, was, whatever. I saw everybody who I needed to see that weekend. Yeah. Love seeing everybody. Everybody was great. But no, I was just kind of like, I was ready to go home. I'm, I'm a big like wake up in your own bed. Especially if you can wake up like eight o'clock. If you if you get home at like three o'clock in the morning, and you can squeeze like five hours in, and, and you wake up in your own bed. It is, yeah, it is so much better. Than waking up in a hotel, driving home at noon, getting you know all that. Just fuck that. It sounded like know. we made the right call too, because from the sound of it, Blind Mike didn't sound like he had a good time. He was like, you know what, oh, I'm God, gonna go. Yeah. Like that's like us. We're like, oh, you know, I'm gonna be against. I'm gonna go out actually. Yeah, and uh, bad time sounded yeah. like. But overall, great weekend, great show, live show. They absolutely killed it, and uh, I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Where's the next one? I don't know they if they've decided a, that. They I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. He was talking about that, but I, I don't know if they've fully got it. I think you're saying they're going to do that again in March. You should do the Melody 10. Yeah, we've talked about that. I yeah. don't think that's happening. Come but. on. You got to start a petition. Start to the Melody 10. There you go. <laughs> All right, people. We will talk to you soon. Take it easy.